nobody wants hidden costs in their projects. That's why when we're budgeting for software, we got to think of four different types of budgeting. We have building, maintenance, operating, and remodeling costs. All four of those need to go into the bigger picture over the life cycle of your project. One thing that we need to think about after a project is in production, or even really before the project is in production, is the ongoing operating costs that are associated with that project. The worst thing that could happen is we produce a software product and then you say, oh, now I can't afford to put it on a server. So we need to think about those costs. Data storage, if you're gonna host your own servers, the hardware, the monthly costs of energy, if you're hosting your own, or the monthly costs that you pay to a, a cloud provider who's going to provide the servers for you. Backups are another really important part of this. The nice thing about this part of your budget is it's typically a lot cheaper than than the budget to uh, of talent and engineers to work on your product. And it's really a lot easier to budget. There are a lot less hidden costs and typically they don't fluctuate a whole lot over, over a time period. So month to month, you can have a very consistent cost. We love building software and planning to build software. It's really exciting to us. So if you have any questions or thoughts, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to help you or give you some pointers along the way.